we would like to see the subject of the conference, which is sustainable development, finally get put into action. You know, as the title of the conference says, it's Rio plus 20. So we've been already 20 years talking about sustainable development. I think 20 years is not such a long time, but it's also a long time when you are dealing with very pressing issues for which we really do not have the luxury of waiting any longer. So for, for me and I think for IUCN, we really would like to have some concrete commitment in terms of how do we move from speeches, statements, to action. We know already quite enough on the way to sustainable development. I think countries, governments, all stakeholders should take commitments on what they are going to do from now to move towards sustainable development. So that if there's going to be a Rio plus 40 or something like that, we will not yet, we will still not be talking about the concept, but rather the achievements. We have uh, a cluster of approaches we call nature-based solutions. And we would really like this notion, this concept, this approach to be bought in, to be endorsed by the international community. That nature has a big contribution to make to the solutions we need to overcome the challenge of sustainable development. So, you know, we, we would like people to stop looking at nature like it's the problem, it's the impediment, it's conservation of nature is what is the enemy of the development. No, it is an ally, it's a partner, it has a huge contribution, a huge potential to make. So what we call nature-based solution is really the message, the contribution we would like to offer to the conference as a good tool for uh, implementing sustainable development. I wouldn't say there are new in the sense that they're actually the ones that we know already, but which are getting exacerbated. So we have, of course, the big problem of climate change. We have the uh, problem of biodiversity loss. We have the problem of continuing ecosystem de ecosystems degradation. So these problems, th there is always like a new element that gets added to them, but the problem as such, we know them from, you know, for, for many years. So we think that, again, the conference in Rio can make a big push, a big political momentum for these problems to be tackled. We have a lot of commitments that have been made in different arenas. You know, when you talk of the COP of climate change, that is a conference of the parties. Same for uh, the biodiversity convention. Same with all the other biodiversity related convention and other issues. Can we bring all those together <clears throat> in one unifying framework? And again, I think here, IUCN has a modest contribution to make. When you look at the framework of our new program 2013-2016, which is what our next Congress in September 2012 is going to adopt, I think it really provides one way of trying to tackle all these related problems, which cause uh, the problem of, to sustainable development, which are a big impediment for poverty eradication, which are a big impediment for nature, conservation for human well-being and for economic, sustainable economic development. And I think our Congress in Jeju in 2012 can precisely, once the message from Rio is clear, our Congress, our members are ready to play their part in some of those commitments that correspond to the mission, to the mandate of IUCN, to make sustainable development begin uh, to be a reality rather than some vague concept.